This presentation is to introduce you to the India Office records of the British Library and to help you to save valuable time when you get there. The British Library is next door and just to the west of St Pancras International Railway Station in the Euston Road in London. You may have to go through a routine security check at the door before you go into the main entrance hall. As you enter the hall, the steps to the right of the information desk lead down to a cloakroom on the lower ground floor. And further round to the right, there's a locker room. The first thing you'll need to do is to obtain a reader's pass. So go to the reader's registration office immediately above the cloakroom on the upper ground floor. Read carefully what you'll need to bring with you to obtain a reader's pass. This includes both proof of your home address and proof of your signature. Be careful. Unless you have these items, you will not be issued with a pass and your journey will have been wasted. Once you have your pass, you can go up to the African and Asian Studies reading room on the third floor. There, on entry, you must show your reader's pass to the security person just inside the door. However, remember that there are certain things that you may or may not take in with you. So leave these in your locker room before you come up. Now you are in the reading room and you can make a start. This plan shows you how to find your way around. First, find yourself a seat at the reader's desk and make a note of its number. Probably the first section that people head for are the index books to the christenings, marriages and burials on the microfilm cabinets alongside. These indexes are divided into presidency, then baptisms, marriages or burials, then the initial letter of the surname that you're looking for. Select the index that you want and this is listed in order of the year in which the event is recorded. Here, I'm looking at the list of Madras christenings for the year 1839 for a Mary Maddox. This gives me the reference, N2, which is at the top of the page, volume number 14 in the left-hand column, and folio number 204 in the right-hand column. So, having noted that the reference for Mary Maddox is at N stroke 2 stroke 14, you can select the relevant microfilm from the cabinet alongside and take it across the room to the microfilm readers. Here, you can wind through the film to folio 204 where we should find the details of the christening of Mary Maddox. I'm afraid for copyright reasons we can't show you the exact entry, but here is a copy of the information that it contains. Next, you might like to consult the catalogues to determine the reference to the next item that you want to look at. Essentially, the whole of the India Office records, which are claimed to occupy 15 kilometers of shelving, are all catalogued here. Once selected, you can order the film concerned, or in fact a modest number of further items at, at the same time. All of these can be ordered on the computer terminals nearby. However, as a first timer, you may prefer to ask one of the helpful staff behind the inquiry desk opposite to do this for you. Orders usually take up to 70 minutes to arrive. They are available at the issue desk just to the left of the inquiry desk. Whilst waiting, you can look at the directories. These shelves contain a mouth-watering selection of directories and reference books which make a visit worthwhile in itself. So, just to complete this presentation, we give you a list of the opening times with the warning 
that the African and Asian studies uh, reading room is rather more restricted in opening times than some of the others. We trust this presentation is helpful to you and that it contributes to the success of your research.